Hey everyone, today we're going to look at the concept of once saved, always saved, and I'm going to use only one verse to disprove it. Now, once saved, always saved is the belief that once you are saved, once you have salvation, you can never lose that salvation. And people who believe this use uh, John chapter 10, verse 28 through 30 uh, to prove their doctrine, where it basically says, um, you know, I give them eternal life. They say, okay, if, you, if you're given eternal life now, how can, how can it ever be taken away? Because it's eternal. Uh, it also says there that no one can pluck them out of my hand. Um, so uh, they, they use that to prove that you can't lose your salvation. But, uh, you know, today I'm just going to show through one verse. I have many verses that I could bring up now, uh, but I'm going to just use one verse in order to show that that's not true. Um, we're going to go to John chapter 15, verse 5 and 6. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. So like I said, this is Jesus here uh, teaching a particular concept. Um, you know, Jesus' teachings carry a lot of weight. I want to take note to where it says in verse 6 there, If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch. Now that word abide, which is uh, meno in the Greek, it basically means to stay or to remain. Another thing is that that word there in the Greek is actually in the present perfect tense. Uh, the present perfect tense means that it uh, it's happening and it goes on. It continues to happen. So the King James actually translates this word as abideth. They put the th on the end of there uh, to denote the, the present perfect uh, tense of it. The fact that it's ongoing. Uh, it's true now and it's continuing to go on. So uh, we need to continue to remain in Jesus is what this is saying. He says, if anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned. Now, I think everyone would agree that we need to abide in Jesus in order to have eternal life. Um, and this is saying here that if anyone does not abide, um, that they're cast out and withered. They're not going to be in Christ anymore, uh, like a branch to a vine is. Um, and the end is to be burned. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. In addition to that, I don't think that Jesus would be warning people about something that couldn't happen. When clearly here, the reason why he gives the warning is so that someone can take heed uh, and uh, change their ways, you know, not uh, not want to leave Christ, not want to depart from Christ. They would want to stay continually uh, in Christ. And that's the reason why Jesus is giving this warning. So the moral of the story is that uh, we need to stay in Jesus. We don't want to go back to sin. We want to uh, obey Jesus and uh, keep his commandments, keep Jesus' commandments. So uh, I hope this video helps. God bless.